Hello, brave and beautiful souls. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Ona Christie. I'm a visionary artist and energy worker. And today I've got a transmission from Archangel Ariel. And this is a transmission that comes both in the form of art and as well as a direct uh, transmission in words. This is the painting here. And um, and it's, it's a little different, I think, than, than most depictions of Archangel Ariel and in fact I didn't even know who it was at first. So the painting itself is going to be a portal for her energy. I'm going to share a little bit about how the painting came to be then some of the symbolism showing up here um, that pertains to Archangel Ariel and then I'll be sharing two transmissions one just from my own higher guidance about the painting and then another one uh, directly from Archangel Ariel herself. So there's two ways that I tend to go about uh, doing a painting, and one is that the concept comes in from spirit into my head and I get it down on paper. But then the other way is starting with the material, all right? So getting the paint onto the canvas, playing around with it, and all of a sudden something will come out of it, okay? And this is how this one came in. And I really consider that more of coming out of the feminine, coming out of the material. And in this case, it was actually browns that started out. So it really felt like, you know, kind of coming out of the earth, coming out of Mother Earth. And so as I, as I worked with it, it became more and more pink, first of all. And it was just color. And then this figure began to emerge. And so looking at the painting afterwards, I... I honestly didn't know who it was and I thought it was maybe a goddess <laughs> so I started looking up and and the, so there were a couple things that really struck me about it one was just it's so flowy um, but then she's she's really got the one hand her left hand is up in this receiving posture her right hand is down in this posture of uh, like sending energy and there's so much energy in this painting um, just all the swirling motion happening but she really can see she's receiving here and then she's just um, sending the energy out that way so she becomes this transmitter a um, couple shapes uh, the spirals coming in but there's this almost figure eight pattern happening here in the background, as well as in her breast area, this um, figure eight, right, happening. And there's another spiral here um, at her, her sacral area and a spiral here originating in like the pituitary gland area. And this is actually uh, very similar to another couple of paintings that I have the same kind of motif happening. Um, to me, this looks like the sun, so a very solar influence here, as well as this just really looks to me like a portal, right? Like a, a wormhole or something like that. So we've got all these elements here. And so when I asked my guidance, I just kind of went in and they, they told me all this stuff about her. So I'm just going to read that first of all. And just keep in mind that I didn't know yet who this was. I'm just reading to you exactly word for word what my guidance told me about her. Okay, so this is information about Archangel Ariel that is different from anything that I've ever seen, but it really fits with other descriptions that I've seen of her. She's a transmitter of energy. She is the spirit of transmissions. She exists in each one of us. She is able to effortlessly receive impulses, vibrations, and information from the higher realms and send them along to transmit them where needed. She assists in disseminating information. She also assists in healing, directing healing energy where it needs to go. She's a goddess of portals. She is a portal. She is at home in the fluid elements, ether, air, water, and also fire. However, she is able to direct the flow. She can take you where you want to go. However, you must know your place and maintain the rhythm of the dance. Go with the flow is her mantra, but if you listen closely, you will observe that she is no passive object allowing herself to be carried or dashed about by the currents but she actively dances with them creating not just order but art out of chaos 
She represents the unity and harmony of creative vision paired with creative action. And that's the third eye, the creative vision paired with the, the sacral, the creative action. She dances with her eyes closed in a state of perfect internal balance that anchors the swirling energies around her so that they become her creative fuel. And I think the eyes closed is really significant because to me it speaks of really just going with intuition, really surrendering to the intuitive faculties in a long, but she's not doing it in a way that, that, that is ungrounded. And even though she's so going with the flow, she's so fluid, the grounding comes in that she's got this internal balance that can anchor the energy, right? So that she can use all this stuff as creative fuel and, and really direct energy where it needs to go without getting caught up in it. And since Ariel is usually associated with um, the angel of nature or the angel of earth, um, to me, and she's considered a very, very, very grounding and influence, to me, she really, really assists in not just being grounded in a static way, but being grounded in a way that is very able to hold one's center and hold one's balance even when things are in huge amounts of flux okay so she's this wonderful wonderful ally in times of change is what I'm seeing um, so she, the energy of the lemnus gate that's that figure eight pattern is with her and to me that's really talking about abundance that that figure eight symbol is the symbol of infinity it's considered the symbol of abundance and great prosperity and i'm feeling like you know there's so much in flux right now and i think no matter when you you come across this video this is just the age that we're in right now a lot of flux a lot of change but remember there's so much opportunity in that change and in that flux and so much opportunity for abundance and so much light being <laughs> gifted to us at this time sent down to us okay so uh, and i'm just going to kind of sum up some of the things that I was given here. This is the angel um, of change, of timelines, of portals, of transformation, communication, multidimensionality, evolution, and flow. And this is like a little bit different than, than the portrayals of Ariel that, that you usually see, but I feel like it's maybe an aspect of her that's wanting to come forward that's been underrepresented <laughs> that she really just feels like wants to to be shared here okay so then finally i um i tuned into ariel herself and by her it, it just feels to me like it's presenting as a very feminine energy um but like all the archangels ariel has aspects of both masculine and feminine and by the way ariel is associated with a lion the name means lion or lioness of god <laughs> and i i find this also very significant for this particular time when this painting was birthed because it was created in, in very late July 2021, shortly before the Lion's Gate. And in fact, it was created during a session that I have with my, my wolf pack group on Patreon, where we were, have been meeting every week. And this particular meeting, we were meeting for sacred paintings. So what we were doing was actually tuning into the Lion's Gate energies, which is another clue that this is Archangel Ariel, because it's got that lion energy in it. And... So this painting I'm feeling is like taking us right through that lion's gate and then continuing assisting and directing that courageous lion energy into the, this, this next part of the year. And no matter what cycle you're in <laughs> um, or part of the year, you can tune into this beautiful energy of courage, energy of flow and energy of abundance when you tune into Archangel Ariel. Okay, so here's the transmission from Ariel herself. Listen to the song of the birds and the voice of the trees in the wind. The crickets trill and the call of the raven and the crane, the gurgle of the running stream, 
the crash of waves, the creaks and groans of frozen ice, the call of the owl in the night. All these are transmissions. All have meaning. They can heal you. Become aware of them. Become aware of the song of life all around you, the voice of the planet, your home. Tune into these things. Plug back into the matrix of life. How much time do you spend plugging into the planet, your home? Reconnect through the wind, the water, the soil, the warmth of the sun. These things are freely given to you out of love. Allow them to heal you. The animals, the plants, the wind, the rain, the sun, the soil, they sing to you songs of healing, songs of love. As you take the time to listen, they will weave you back into the pattern of life. The creatures of the world, they speak to you, if you will but listen, and show you how to live. Do you see one wild creature anywhere that clings to fear as humans do? Their lives are fraught with danger, yet they are content. They know themselves. They are fully woven into the fabric of the world, and they are free. Wisdom, oneness, is built into your blood, into your bones. You have receptors for joy throughout your being, and these are opened through connection with the natural world and with each other. Shed your fear, reconnect, and peace and love will find you as surely as the sun is sure to rise. So I would love to hear your comments below. Do you have a connection with Archangel Ariel? And if so, I'd love to hear your take on this uh, and, and your insights into this beautiful Archangel. I will actually be posting this painting on my website for sale if it's something that calls to you. Usually there will be one person that it really is meant for. And so if that's you, uh, just check that out. The, the link will be in the description below. So thank you for joining me. I wish you much peace, much joy, and much courage as you move forward onto your, your life's journey. And as we collectively move forward into this beautiful period of ascension, much light, love, and healing to you. Catch you soon, and remember you were born to be free.